everybody, this is your friendly commentary, JJ Man, and I'm here with a relatively new game called War Thunder. Now, this game is basically a World War II, World War I fighting simulator, flying simulator, actually. Um, later, I think they're planning on putting some infantry and naval and ground troops in. Um, however, right now, it is simply aerial battles, which is uh, pretty entertaining in itself. Um, so right now I'm actually flying a Russian type plane with two machine guns on it and a cannon uh, Which is quite powerful. Maybe it's only one machine. Gun. I don't know. Um, it's quite powerful at taking down other planes um, And very maneuverable as you can see I don't have to move my mouse and I can just kind of do barrel rolls if I want or I can uh, Use my mouse and kind of look around like this and it works pretty well. So you aim with your mouse um, Otherwise, it's kind of difficult. I guess you could aim like that. That'd be weird though. Um, so we're going to see what we can do in taking out some enemies here. Um, that's a good guy to take out. That's a pretty basic plane. Um, so this will kind of tear... Ooh, or not. Alright, so as you can see right now, there's that little dot. And also over... Ooh, overload. I almost actually passed out there. Um, so it's quite realistic. Um, you can't do too much, otherwise you will get in trouble. You will kill yourself. Um... And I think it's actually quite a difficult game. It's one of the harder games I've ever played. They so hit markers on that guy. Um, obviously, it's a little bit more difficult to kill people. Um, I don't think this is the most maneuverable um, plane you can get. I know of others that are much better. I wish I actually did have better ones, but right now this is what I got. This is still this guy. It's not too bad, it's just a little slow, which I don't really like too much. Oh, looks like I actually took that one out. Um, so yeah, a cannon is actually a really powerful weapon. Um, it takes out people pretty quickly. It's basically this big 35 milliliter, milliliter 35 millimeter round that um, can almost sometimes instant kill things if you hit it in the right spot. Um, however, it's very limited ammo, so you have to be kind of careful. This is a buffalo. This is actually the American version of this got, uh, plane. It's pretty strong, too. Um, that's the one thing I do like about this game, uh, uh, plane. It's very strong. See, I only have 12 rounds up in the top left. 12 rounds of cannon left. And I think this guy's got a cannon on me, too. So you gotta be careful. However, this buffalo cannot. There we go. He cannot outmaneuver me. I'm pretty much the same thing as him. So. Let's see if we can take him down before he can take him down myself. I really don't want to be taken down, obviously. Shoot, I got a leak. Alright, we should probably bail out of here. Um, like I said, there is kind of. Oh, shoot. Oh! Oh, yeah, so he took my wing down, lost control, and I'm out. So let's, okay, so this one right here is the basic fighter you always start with. It's always free to repair. Um, not going to use a bomber. Let's use this thing. It's called an attacker. Um, it's like a half bomber, half attacker. I think it's one of the more interesting planes. It's a little bit more maneuverable than the other one, actually. But it's kind of, it's a little bit slower, um, it feels more like a boat, mostly because it's a bomber. This is uh, the type of plane you would put a torpedo on, let's say, or a dive bomber or something like that. Um, but it's actually got quite a good machine gun, I think I got six machine guns on it. Um, let's see if I can count it, yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure I have six machine guns on it. So it's quite a nice thing, and that little circle down there is my bomber. So, if there were too many left, it looks like there's 11 things left, but... Um, Sometimes it's kind of hard to hit things. But we'll try. I'll show you what bombing is like. Get you a good view of it. Let's see. Yeah, I just took that out that guy's oil tank. Oh, I jammed my gun. Gosh darn it. And I'm out of ammo, actually. That was quick. You see, uh, that's the only disadvantage of this gun. Uh, you will run out of ammo very, very quickly. Looks like that guy's down, actually. The guy that I took out. Let's see if I take this guy out. Ah, uh, guy's a little hard to take out. Could have bombed him, that would have been funny. 
Yeah, let's see what we can bomb, just for fun. I'll show you what bombing's like, so let's do a kind of a dive bombing maneuver. Hit this landing craft. Hopefully it'll work. Alright, so I push space to launch a bomb. Let's see where that goes. Got it. So you get some points down there. I don't know where the other four things are. Let's see if we can find them. Looks like they're over there, actually. Now, this isn't the biggest bomber, obviously. That I do have another bomber that you might have seen. Uh, that has a 250 kilogram bomb. There's this dude here. And, um, let's hit this landing craft. I do have two gunners, actually. One on the bottom, as you can see there, and one on top. Uh, you start with one on top. However, uh, I upgraded it and got another one, which is nice. Oops. Looks like I missed, actually. Which happens. It's hard. Bombing's hard. Wouldn't recommend trying it your first time. I just recommend trying to learn the controls of the fighter. By the way, this is a free game. I always forget to mention I actually tried to record this before, but my uh, recording didn't work. But yeah, this is a free game. Um... Yeah, I got double strikes. I took down two of them at once, or close to each other. Let me get out of here. Wow, my bombs reload. And oh, actually, I got saved by a fighter. Awesome. Looking around, default key is C. I recommend putting it on your right uh, mouse button. Uh, I think that's nicer. I changed around my keys. I liked it. I like it this way. I actually, and you do actually get hit points for this, and you can switch behind if you would like. Because you are a little more accurate that way, as you saw. I actually took that guy down, pretty much. Um, you're much more accurate if you use it yourself. Now this guy, however... Where'd he go? He just disappeared. Oh, he's over here being repaired. There we go. Got a couple hit points on him. He's probably not too happy. But... It does work. He's on me now. He's not happy with me. Now, oh, I got destroyed. See, oh, that's actually the uh, plane I use. That's funny. I probably got hit by a cannon shell. Got taken out. So let's do another fighter. Um, there's not too many things to bomb what left with, and this isn't really a bomber map. Um, there are maps where you have to, your mission is basically to destroy all enemy forces, which means all ground forces. You start with like 70 units, and look, actually. We, on the bottom left there, there's no more, no more enemy ground units, so pointless type of bomb. So let's actually head around here. This is the basic um, Russian start point. There's six factions, five: U.S., German, Russian, British, and um, Japanese. So five. Um, each all have their own starting point. I actually have two bombs attached. This one that was an upgrade that I bought. Um, Unfortunately, this is like a World War One era plane, so you can't go too fast and it's not too maneuverable. But it's got four machine guns on it, and it's got a decent amount of ammo in them. Um, and I actually have the most kills I've ever gotten is with this gun, or with this plane, so it's not too bad. It's quite a nice little weapon. That guy's down. Let's see if we can help this guy out. So there are little achievements you can get by uh, taking down other fighters. Um, if you save another fighter, you get fighter rescue. If you save another, bo if you save a bomber, you get bomber rescue. Um, which obviously saving it means getting up behind it, destroying the. Uh... Ooh. Is that? Oh, basically just all that. Getting up behind it, destroying a fighter that was uh, attacking a bomber recently, or is just uh, at the six o'clock. Um, you do have to lead. You have to do all that fun stuff, and uh, can't black out. So I think this is a much more maneuverable plane. But actually, I don't have the, uh, the skill set to get a better plane right now, which I will eventually. You can eventually get MiGs. I don't know if you know what that is. It's a, basically the uh, Soviet jet. Uh, I don't, I've never seen that in one of these games. It's uh, actually, I would assume, pretty rare, because it's. I think you have to be level 22 in the faction. You level up within factions. Um, but it also, uh, in the game itself. Ooh, that was interesting. 
get a couple more points is always nice. And you can do crazy maneuvers, which is fun. Uh, kind of throw your plane. A lot of times, they won't notice. I can actually do a barrel roll for you guys. I wasn't going to do a backflip, actually, but I kind of screwed up. That's turning when I tried. So let's see if we can get one of these guys to help us. Most of the time, they'll help you out. But apparently not this time. And I actually, it's actually kind of nice having one of these planes because it is slower. So a lot of times they can't really stay behind you for too long because they... There he is, actually. Oh, actually, it's this guy, too. This looks like a Japanese plane. Japanese planes tend to be pretty slow. So let's try to get behind him. Cool. Can't really get enough hit points on. Actually, my engine just died. I think. Yep, my engine just died. Alright, so we're going to do a landing. Emergency landing here. Um, so every once in a while this will happen. We're getting in a lot of trouble. I might be able to get over the airfield, actually. And get repaired. Which would be really cool. Um... Awesome, I actually got to the airfield. Uh, so yeah, if you stop in the airfield, you can get repaired. Oh, shoot. But let's stay safe. Oh, no. No, he took me out. That's okay. I think the Buffalo is the main basic gun for the U.S. I know it's for the U.S. Um, so we're in a bomber now. <laughs> I have a big bomb. It's actually cloudy, by the way. Dynamic weather. Interesting. Uh, it doesn't change within the map, I don't believe, but uh, each game can be different. I've played rainy, I've played really foggy, I've played perfectly sunny with no clouds at all. It's quite interesting. And then this, obviously. This is probably the more common type of map, which is reasonable, given that it's kind of the most common type of weather. Oh yeah, you can do some crazy stuff in bombers. Um, which is kind of fun. Just make sure you don't overload too much, because I can knock out the, uh, my gunners. I have a gunner in the back and a gunner in the front. Let's... I could make a landing there, but I think we're going to go make a landing at A. Oh, never mind. We'll just be an aggressive bomber. And obviously you can get better bombers. This is kind of a, it's a fairly basic bomber. First tier, second tier. Okay. So not terribly great, but not bad. The funny thing is, is I might be able to, because I do have a front gunner, I might be able to take this guy out. This Fury down here. It looks like he actually stopped the base. I'm gonna laugh. Like, oh, looks like he crashed. Yep, he crashed. Okay. Uh, that's not bad for us, because we might we can actually uh, maybe capture this base. I'll show you what that does. So to capture a base, you got to slow down, put down your landing gear, line up on the runway. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. This is a big bomber. I've never done a bomber on this map, on this uh, place here. Oh, someone already captured it. But I'll still show you a landing. Or not, because I have too much speed, actually. Here's my gunner attacking that guy. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty pointless, but... Just entertaining. We could try to capture A. We need to actually see him. Sorry, because I just to capture C. But to win the map, um, this is kind of like uh, obviously you've seen me play Battlefield. So um, this is basically conquest. It's called domination in this. Ow. Look at that. No. I took out one. I got one. 
I've never seen that plane before. That's a pretty cool looking plane, though. But yeah, that's pretty much how the game goes. This is an interesting plane. It's kind of cool looking. Wait. Oh, wow. It's got a lot of guns on it. Oh, my goodness. Alright, well, it looks like a seat plane. But yeah, that's basically how the game goes. Uh, we might ride this one out just to see where it goes. This guy's a terrible shot. I think this one can land in water, which is pretty cool. Let's see what else there is. There's the buffalo, like I said. And he's got his gear down. Or maybe... No, you have to keep the gear. Uh, I can't. The Catalina. We reply. Alright. Uh, this is an interesting looking one. I've never seen this one before. Oh. That's interesting. It's very, very dangerous to land because you tend to, You will get shot at. Um, looks like this guy's taking A, though. Ooh. Oh, that was not a good landing. Looks like he just broke his engine. Yeah, he just broke his engine. So, yeah, you have to land softly, otherwise you're in big trouble. This guy actually just got shot down. So, always be careful. Um, looks like... Ooh, Japanese plane got shot, shot down. Looks like we're actually going to lose. Um, let's let me leave this game and I'll show you what... Oh, that was terrible. Um, leaving game doesn't really do much. You kind of lose XP if you were the best person in the game, but I wasn't. Um, you'll know when you are. You'll, oh, or push, don't push yes. You'll definitely know when you are. Um, or you can just push tab, it'll tell you. Ugh, but yeah, War Thunder. Look it up. It's quite an amazing game. I really like it. Uh, I'm stretching. So, not too bad. We got 11,000, 12,000 points. Or not 12,000, 1,200 points, uh, which is pretty good. Um, if you're bombing, you can get some of these higher scores, like the 8, but you don't get very good grounds. You don't get total score. Um, where you get scores, really, aircraft kills. See, this guy's got 6 aircraft kills, and he got the most points. This guy got 7, he got less points. I don't know why. Must have done less things, so. So here we go. Oh, I was actually Soviet aviator. A lot ace. Some challenges, that's cool. Um, so, like, I'll show you this. So, as you can see, I have all these different types of factions I can choose from. I'm level 1 with all of them except Japan, because I haven't really given Japan anything. But I'm level 4 with Russia, because I've decided to just de dedicate myself to Russia. There's a skill tree, basically. I want one of this to replace these guys. Um... The, uh, I'm curious about what this is. It's got another cannon. It just looks like a nice, nice little plane to work with. And yes, eventually you can get the makes, uh, which I don't know about them. They only have cannons on them, which might be interesting to work with. This one's only got a cannon on it. Look at that. Um, got th oh, it's got two cannons. Wow, it's only got two cannons actually. So it looks like the next are just cannons on them. Um, I don't know about this. This has got a cannon on it. Cannon. So yeah, cannons are obviously pretty popular. It's a fancy one. You can actually upgrade it, so let's uh, show you this. So you can go in here, and you can get a bigger cannon or, su or such. Actually, that's the, that's the bomber, basically. So like here, I can have another cannon. I can maybe put some bombs on it. Rockets as well. Uh, but you have to get some of this stuff first. Oh, so, all pretty interesting. Uh, six unguided rockets, fifty and hundred. So yeah, some pretty cool stuff. Um, I think this is interesting. So go look it up, War Thunder. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate the likes, comments, subscriptions. I'll put some more stuff out, less informant, more just gameplay. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.